Hey guys, Billie Jenkins here with Silver Creek Doodles. We are taking Miss Millie the Aussie Doodle to breed with pickles today. So we've had quite a time with Millie and her heat cycle and bleeding and all of that stuff. But what I'm gonna do is we're on our way to breed. We actually just took this little precious girl to get a health certificate. She is going to Canada, but we're doing kind of everything at, at the same time. So we're leaving from here, going to the studs house um, with Miss Millie and we'll show them in just a minute because we're going to breed them again. This is a repeat litter. So you'll have to go to my website and go to the upcoming litter to see the past puppies. They are gorgeous. So, um, but what I'm gonna do is we will get to Pickle's house, show you them kind of playing around. We'll have to do AI, which is which what we did last time. But um, once I get back home, I'm gonna sit down and pull out all of our progesterone numbers and kind of explain what she's been doing. It's been a long haul for this. Alright, so that's a pretty good amount for pickles. And it's real cloudy. So we're gonna pull it up real slow. And we'll put all of this in this mini. We don't want to get any air. Just a little bit. That's what we're gonna have. Come here, Mel. Job pickles. Pickles. Thank you for your service. All right, so we are back home. So we did have a successful AI. Hopefully, you know, everything went well. It went in smoothly. Right at the end, there was a little bit of the liquid that had came out, but I don't think that's anything. I think it's just for she's a small dog and the amount that he gave, but we're gonna cross our fingers that everything is good. So we will breed again one more time. Now, if you can see all of these, <laughs> usually we have to do two progesterones. So for Miss Millie, we actually, so the Aussie Doodle, we've done eight so far and we actually would go ahead and do one more just to make sure that it is continuing to rise so we don't have to prolong anything. She's acting, she's swollen, her blood's the color it's supposed to be and she is borderline where it says ovulation. So it's like, 
like probably right now her numbers are already above that but we just want to make sure so this was our numbers yesterday but let me go ahead i'm going to throw up some some numbers right here so you can see it so with our first three she obviously had some some really weird numbers and stuff so if you can see we actually she started bleeding on january 27th so it is you know today it's february 20th so it's almost been a month so i mean obviously we're we're pushing it here but you know her first day well no that wasn't even her first day of bleeding so todd was actually he lives with us and he was acting crazy over her like crazy and she wasn't swollen yet she wasn't bleeding she was licking a lot down there so i thought maybe we're you know catching it early you know for like a week he was like after her and obviously you know nothing happened or it couldn't even happen because she wasn't swollen or anything and he would he was just crying and crazy about her private part so it's like what the heck so i ended up putting her up so her and ariel which they're like best friends so we ended up kind of keeping them in an area by themselves just so our house wasn't crazy hectic because you know when, when we have a girl in heat it is so that was january 27th and then so february 6th was the next day so actually the 27th is the first day i saw blood so his so todd was crazy about her you know like a week before that five five days to a week before that so then when she started showing blood i went ahead and tested her because i wanted a baseline so she was a 4.6 so like okay so let's go ahead and wait so we waited actually until the 6th i was waiting for the blood to change to get some swelling different stuff like that she was a 4.2 she had actually went down so i'm like okay this is you know in in a range so varying just a little bit it's actually pretty much the same number it's we want them in in you know little groups so pretty much the same thing but that was what the January 27th to February 6th. And then we waited two more days and she went up a little 5.31. So it's like, all right, so let's see, let's see what she's got. So then the next three days that we have that we tested, we tested on the 10th and she was a five. She dropped back down again. I was like, oh my gosh, this girl's going to drive me crazy. And then we tested again on the 13th So three days later, she went up a little bit, not much, but just a little bit. And then we tested three days later and she went back down. I'm like, oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? So the last two days, so at this point, she has started to, the blood is starting to lighten up. She's really swelled back there and she's starting to flag, turn her tail to the side, getting in front of the boys and trying to say, hey, I'm ready. So on the 18th, she was an 8.38 that right there is starting so the numbers that we want is above a 12 but that's getting pretty close so that's you know that's getting pretty close there so then yesterday which was the 19th she was an 11.31 so she should be above a 12 today so all of this packed together so as a breeder in my mind i'm thinking she's been bleeding for you know, in, in seven days, it'll be a whole month. Like I'm trying to figure this stuff out. What's going on? What are we going to do? You know, I don't want to miss it, but I don't want it to be too early. We don't want to waste pickle stuff, you know, all of this because he only makes so much like per month or two. So it's like trying to figure out what to do. So we will go ahead and we will test again tomorrow. Now we'll probably skip a day and breed again the next. If we test again tomorrow and she's not higher or she's dropped some we're gonna have to recalculate and i'll get back on here but if you don't hear any more about me or anything else in four to five weeks until we ultrasound her numbers have went up so pray for us give us good vibes give us anything you can to kind of you know get healthy puppies we've got a wait list for these puppies this litter was one of my favorite Ever. so if you've gotten a, a puppy from this litter comment down here and let us know how they're doing I know we kept back a male mr. Hank and we love him so thank you guys so much for watching I know it was a lot of blabbing but as a breeder we're gonna we might have like two like we wait you know until the right time to test and then two days we test and bam they're ready and then we've got now to where it's been almost a month of the dog it's prolonging, not ready yet. So things like this happen. Let's hope everything works out good. I know God will, whatever is going to happen or need to happen, he's going to let. So thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.